Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah and welcome to another DIY project today. So the other day my wife complained we have a leak under a kitchen sink. So let's check it out and see what we have. Mm-hmm. Aha. Aha. It's true, we have a leak. We've got some dripping going on around here. And here's the problem right here. I see where the dripping starts. The leak is between this threaded area and the drain extension. So I went to twist the pipe and this is what happened. It broke right off. It had rusted through. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. I guess I have to replace it now. So the first thing I do is try to remove this white plastic trap adapter nut so I can remove that copper drain extension. And just to let you know, if you're new to this channel and you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest video. And sharing this content also helps. So here's the old drain extension. Now I have to remove this copper drain lock ring. So I've loosened the lock ring. The only problem is that the drain unit keeps spinning. So I get my wife to put in this screwdriver to hold down the drain unit so it stops from spinning. But as you can see, that didn't work very well. The unit still keeps spinning. So I switched to locking pliers to keep the drain from spinning. And look at that, it did the trick. And here's the old drain, rusted out. And my wife and assistant quickly cleans the surface area. So I went to my closest Home Depot and picked up this Eastman Deep Cup Strainer Basket Assembly. Stainless steel brass tailpiece, two piece construction for easy installation. So let's see what we have inside. So first we have our strainer basket. And starting from the bottom, we have our slip nut. Then our drain locking ring. I'm not sure what this is called, but I'm going to call it a drain cup. Then the drain seal or friction ring. And the black rubber drain gasket. And finally our drain unit. Oh, let's not forget our drain tube extension. The first thing I do is quickly brush and clean the ABS threaded adapter. And also clean the surface area under the hole. And so this is optional, but I always Teflon tape this threaded area. So I cleaned up my old trapped adapter nut so I can reuse it again. But I did buy a whole new nut and trap adapter assembly for my other side of the sink. 
Notice inside this copper nut is this fitted plastic white seal. And this is how we install the extension into it. And take a look at this. Looks like I'm going to run into some problem. My drain unit is a little bit longer than my old one. So I'm not going to have room to work here. So as I follow my drain pipe all the way down here, I know I'm going to have to cut a piece of the ABS just above the P-trap. Right about here. And this will give me the room I need to work with. So if you have plenty of room to work, you may not have to do this. And just to let you know, if you take a look, my left side drain unit will also need to be replaced. But for the purpose of this video, I'm only going to show you how I replaced the right side. So I'm going to measure out and cut about an inch and a half of my pipe. And before I do that, I'm going to release the water in my P-trap. And in my case, I'll be using this small hacksaw, which I bought in my previous project. Don't forget to sand the edges where you've cut. We want a good connection with the cement when we install our connector. Okay, I cleaned the area and then clean my connector. And then I do a quick dry fit. And I've still got my ABS cement from my other previous project. Make sure you ventilate the area because this stuff is very strong. And also double check before you start to cement because it dries very quickly. Now put it generously around this area. And then the inside of your connector. And install it together. Just push it down until it bottoms out. Before you glue this area here. Make sure you do a dry fit. That's right, always do a dry fit, just in case. Make sure everything lines up. Everything lines up. Everything lines up. Now cement inside the connector. And cement this section of the tube. Then push down until it bottoms out. It's still only a dry fit. They can move in and out for now. Now I disassemble my drain unit and leave my extension in the trap adapter. Now I'm going to use plumber's putty, caulking and sealing compound.
I take a small piece and roll it like so. And wrap it around the bottom lip of my drain unit. Then press down with your fingers all the way around like so. Now place it on a hole and put some pressure around it. Then remove the excess putty at the bottom. Then install your black drain gasket. The next your drain seal. Followed by your drain cup. Then install your drain lock ring. Now connect your extension to your drain unit. Now tighten everything up. Tighten your locking ring. Tighten your copper slip nut. Now before we tighten the adapter nut, just make sure your cross pipe has a little bit of a slope to the left. And now you can tighten up. Tighten your P-trap cap. And now I remove the excess putty on top of the sink. And now let's do the leak test. So if you enjoyed my video and found it helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you always get my latest video. And as always, thanks for watching.